African red kneed tarantula is a terrestrial tarantula native to the western faces of the Sierra Madre Occidental and Sierra Madre del Sur mountain ranges in Mexico. They are a large species and are a popular choice for enthusiasts. Mexican red kneed tarantulas are predominantly black and dark brown with light brown leg hairs and bright reddy orange making up the distinctive red knees. The abdomen is covered in light brown or gray urticating hairs. They are a medium-sized terrestrial spider that are currently protected by CITES or the Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species and are classified as an Appendix 2 species. They can achieve a leg span of up to about 7 inches. With regards on their lifespan, ages up to and in excess of 25 years for females are not uncommon. Males, on the other hand, only live for a very short time in comparison, on average about 3 to 6 years. The Mexican red knee are one of the best tarantulas in the hobby when it comes to temperament. Instead of biting, they are far more likely to run away and flick urticating hairs from their abdomen. Keep your face well away from these spiders as urticating hairs to the face would not be at all pleasant. They are a docile species but can be a little skittish at times. They are unlikely to bite but do have the ability to, if pushed. Tarantulas will eat insects, birds, lizards, and even small mammals. As far as natural habitats go, Mexican red knee tarantulas tend to live in tropical rainforests, deserts, torn forests, coastal locals, and scrublands. These nocturnal creatures usually gravitate toward rugged areas that feature ample logs, cacti, and bushes. The Mexican red knee tarantula is one of the most docile and calm tarantulas in the pet trade, making it ideal for beginners. This spider rarely bites. However, like most tarantulas, it will eject urticating hairs from its abdomen and legs if it thinks it is in danger. Mexican red knee tarantula can cost anywhere from $20 to $200 in US. This is just the initial cost though. You should also consider the rest of the financial investment preparing to care for a pet entails. The Mexican red knee tarantula can vary in size anywhere from 4 to 7 inches and weigh around 15 to 17 grams. Like their lifespan, the size of the Mexican red knee differs based on their gender. The female tarantulas tend to be bigger in size. The Mexican red knee tarantula, like many other tarantulas, is poisonous. However, its venom is a mild one making it not that dangerous to have as a pet. If you do come in contact with the Mexican redness venom, at most, you will have symptoms similar to that of a bee sting, redness and swelling around the affected area. These effects typically last anywhere from a day to 72 hours. The only danger posed from the venom of a Mexican redness tarantula is if someone has an allergic reaction to them. If this happens, you should call a doctor right away to seek treatment. Are Mexican red knee tarantulas aggressive? The aggression levels can vary depending on the gender. However, females are known to be the more aggressive of the two, which helps them have a longer lifespan. Females have also been known to be aggressive towards the males after mating. They can also become aggressive towards rogue or unfamiliar spiders. This is often in response to what they see to be a threat or encroachment on their territory. When a Mexican red knee tarantula feels threatened, 
and may become aggressive, it rears up to display its fangs to the perceived threat. Another defense mechanism Mexican redness have is to propel barbed hairs laced with their venom from their abdomen. If you notice any of these behaviors, it is best to give your tarantula some time alone to cool off. All this being said, Mexican red knit tarantulas are widely known for being calm and docile most of the time. They hardly ever bite or attack anyone or anything unprovoked. How long does it take a Mexican red knit tarantula to mature? After a spiderling hatches from the egg sac, it typically spends about two weeks in the barrel. After this time, it leaves its home to be independent and find its own way in life. This is, on average, around 12 to 16 days of age. It isn't until the male spiders reach about 4 years of age that they become sexually mature. At this age, they have a regular cycle of molting set up. At the 20th instar, which is the stage between molts, the males become fully sexually mature and are ready to engage the female in their mating ritual. Your Mexican red knit tarantula's terrarium should always be kept between 75 and 80 degrees Fahrenheit. After the eggs are fertilized, they hatch in about 1 to 3 months giving birth to new spiderlings. The spiderlings stay in the egg sac that the female carries for another 3 weeks after hatching. When both genders reach their full maturation age, they are ready to engage in their mating ritual. In this mating ritual, the male uses his front legs to lock the jaws of the female open. He positions himself behind her and bends her backwards. He deposits the sperm into an opening on the female's abdomen and quickly flees. The male take their leave quickly to avoid the aggression that the females typically have after mating. When the male is gone, the female carries the eggs in her abdomen until the spring. When spring comes, the female weaves a silk mat, deposits the eggs on it, and covers them in a sticky liquid that contains the male's sperm. As with many traits and characteristics with this breed of spider, the female and male Mexican red knit tarantulas mature at different ages. The females, on average, mature about two to three years after the males. By this time, the female tarantulas are around six or seven years old. If your spider seems to be less than enthusiastic about drinking water from the water bowl you provided, do not worry. Mexican redness can get all the hydration they need from the food they eat. However, you should maintain the habit of providing and changing the water bowl regularly so it does not grow mold and your pet always has that option if it so chooses. The Mexican red knit tarantula usually eats once every week, though some of them have been known to eat up to three times a week. It is important to learn your spider's preferences and adapt your care to it. Do tarantulas recognize their owners? A tarantula never remembers, though some may develop unique behavior patterns that approach the definition of personalities they do not learn to recognize their keepers or alter their behavior based on who is holding them. Why do tarantulas not bite humans? The reason tarantulas prefer not to bite is that, first, they are shy and would rather run away. Second, they do not want to use their venom except for something they can eat and humans are too big for them to use as food. As such, they will run away or use their hairs rather than bite.